name is Miss Malia and I work at the Mansfield Richland County Public Library and I want to share some sheep rhymes with you today. Um, sheep are fuzzy animals that are so cute and we really like and we're going to do some rhymes um, about sheep. But first let's start with if you're happy and you know it. So if you know the words you can sing along. If not you can just do the motions with us. If you're happy and you know it clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, wave hello, hello. If you're happy and you know it, wave hello, hello. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wave hello, hello, and good morning. All right, we're gonna start with our first rhyme. Everybody may know this one, but if not, we're gonna do it twice. So you can listen the first time, then say it with me the second time. This is Ba Ba Black Sheep. Here's our black sheep up here on the flannel board. Ba Ba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master, and one for the dame, and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Okay, we're gonna do one more time. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. One for my master, one for the dame, and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. All right, so rhymes are really good for young children because of the repetition and the sounds in rhymes that are similar. When you have similar sounds um, in words, it's easier to recognize the small parts that make bigger words. We're gonna do another um, lamb rhyme. This is Mary had a little lamb. If you know this one, it's gonna be the, the one you probably know, and then we're gonna add some twists to it. So Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. But Mary had more than just one lamb. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was blue as the sky. Have you ever seen a blue lamb? This one's pretty cool. It's a nice blue color. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was red as a rose. One might be a little hard to see because our flannel board's also red, but there's our red lamb. Mary still had more lambs. Let's see, Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was bright yellow. There's a bright yellow lamb. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was green as grass. So Mary had all different colored lambs. Let's see, we have the white and blue and red and yellow and green. That makes five little lambs. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we're gonna do another rhyme and tell a little bit more about these lambs. We're gonna go backwards this time. Mary had a little lamb that was the color green. It was the cutest little lamb that you had ever seen. Mary had a little lamb that was the color yellow. There's our yellow lamb. He ran all day and loved to play that silly little fellow. Mary had a little lamb that was the color red. There's our red lamb. She took him to the barn and made, a, made straw for bed. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was the color blue. Which one's blue? This one's blue. There's a blue one. One day he got lost. Uh oh. And Mary cried. Woo hoo. Mary had a little lamb that was the color white. The lamb loved Mary so he never left her sight. All right, we're going to take our little lambs, put them back in order here. One, two, three, four, five little lambs. All right, we're going to do little Bo Peep. Little Bo Peep loses her sheep. 
and we're going to do a scarf activity for this one. So if you have a scarf at home like this one, you can use it, or you can use a cloth napkin or a washcloth or a small blanket, anything that is kind of soft and kind of floats. We're going to do Little Bo Peep. So Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and she doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home wagging their tails behind them. All right, let's try that one again. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep. And she doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home wagging their tails behind them. You can do that over and over. You can also um, pick up our story time packet and make a little sheep to go with the rhymes. This will be included in the packet. And this is the little sheep craft. You'll get everything you need um, to make this little guy. You get a circle and some black construction paper to make some ears and a nose and some eyes to glue on. And then you can put on a stick and do our rhymes that we did. You'll also get the rhymes in the packet listed out so you can do them at home. And then there's the instructions on the back. And there's also a list of books that you can pick up here at the library. Um, I picked up these two. Mary Had a Little Lamb. We have several different versions of that. And then Baba Black Sheep by Jane Carrera is a really cute um, version of Baba Black Sheep. You're also going to get a couple coloring sheets in your packet that you can do at home. And I hope you really enjoyed our rhymes today. Thank you.